Westlock. This is going to be an NFL edition, and in this NFL edition, we are talking about why the Cleveland Browns still should consider trading Odell Beckham Jr. Now, I know that the trade deadline is at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on October 29th. The NFL refused to move the trade deadline, so that's when it is. So we've got a couple of weeks ahead of us. Let's not jump to conclusions, and this isn't me jumping on the back of Odell Beckham Jr. There's a lot of things that he can do great, and then there's a lot of things that he can do bad, which cause negative publicity and negative attention to his particular team. Now, I'm a Giants fan. He did this shit to us when he was in New York, and then he finally demanded a trade, and he wanted out, and they traded him, and they traded him to Cleveland. Now, I understand that Cleveland has a 3-1 and record. It is what it is. Let's just stop and congratulate them. They have a fantastic running game. The defense is playing well. What we're talking about here is when the real heart of the schedule comes up, when they have to play the Steelers twice and the Ravens again, and then they're going to have to play the Titans. There's going to be a lot of really good teams coming up in the Cleveland Browns schedule. And now they've done it by running the ball. So now Odell Beckham Jr. absolutely balls out when he plays the Dallas Cowboys. He always has. He just owns the Cowboys for whatever the reason is. He owned them when he was a Giant. He owns them when he's a Brown. So let's take last week's game out of the equation. When teams are going to be looking to trade for him, that's going to look fantastic, especially if some of these teams are in the division with the Dallas Cowboys and they can afford him. Like the Washington football team was on this list. Or if the Dallas Cowboys don't want to get killed by him anymore, the Dallas Cowboys could afford to trade for him, and so could the Philadelphia Eagles. There's a handful of teams that actually could afford to trade for Odell Beckham Jr. And when Carson Wentz has no weapons to throw to, this would be a great place for him to go. Now, he said that he wants to go to New England. Granted, that was when Tom Brady was there. Cam Newton's there. Bill Belichick's there. The history of winning is still there. And the Patriots can afford him. I'm not saying that he should go to a team like the Jets or the Broncos or the Dolphins. They're on this list, and so is the Detroit Lions. Now, all of this information is courtesy of SpotRack, however you want to pronounce it. It's a website, and it gives you all the cap information for all of the teams. So there are literally, not including the Browns, nine other teams that could afford to trade for Odell Beckham Jr. The teams are the Jets, the Jaguars, the Patriots, the Cowboys, the Washington football team, the Broncos, the Dolphins, the Lions, and the Eagles. All of those teams do have the cap space to trade for him. Now, if you are the Browns and one of those teams offers you a one or a two, now granted some of these teams' records are kind of spotty, so they're probably not going to give up a one to get him. But if you can get a two and you know that it's going to be an early two, don't you take him because now you guys are winning and you guys are 3-1, and one, and it's great. But what happens when you guys start losing? Now that distraction that you had before this past game is going to come right back and start biting you in the ass again. So while the iron is hot and while everyone saw his performance against the Cowboys, you should do what most smart teams would do and trade him away while his stock is the highest. Now, I know that this isn't going to be the case, and I know that the Browns aren't going to do this, but they should. And it should be even more enticing that the Browns should dangle him to a team like the Washington football team or to the Philadelphia Eagles. Because playing them twice, and by them I mean the Cowboys twice, you see what he can do against the Dallas Cowboys. And if any team in the division would love to stick it to the Cowboys, why not a rival? That's just my take. I say that they should trade him. Even if they traded him to the Lions with Matthew Stafford, they probably could get something very good for him. These teams can afford him. They should put him on the trade block before he has a T.O. type of explosion in the locker room. But this is just one man's opinion. Let me know what you think of my opinion in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Raw Sports Talk. Follow me on Twitter at Raw Sports Talk One. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I'm out. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it, bro.